No, I'm fine. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another haul. Um, the shopping addiction has not slowed down, it has not stopped. It's actually worse than ever. So I'm back here again to show you all the things that I have bought from Pretty Little Thing and Zara over the last month. I thought I'd just do two shops because they're kind of the main ones that I've bought from. I haven't got like a load of things from Zara, but I know everyone's shopping from there at the moment. So I thought like the couple of things that I have bought, it would be nice to show you so you can see what they look like. I'm currently sitting on my bin, hoping that I don't fall into it, um, because I need to be the height of the camera, but so I'm going to get straight into the video. I'm going to try them on and everything so you can see what they look like and kind of give you a review from there. So I've kind of put the outfits together. My strong suit has never, ever, ever been like putting outfits together. Like I can see a nice piece of clothing, buy it, and then I will not know how to style it. So I've kind of tried my best at this video, but the first item I've got here is this little high neck crop top from Zara. I feel like everyone and their mum has this crop top at the moment, like it's nothing special. Um, you can literally get them from everywhere, but I wanted to try out the Zara one. Excuse my bra straps, I, I need to get a strapless bra. I wanted to get one, so I've actually bought like a couple of, is this from Zara? Oh my god, this is from Bershka. Am I okay? Okay, I found the Zara one. It's literally completely different. I don't even know how the hell I got them mixed up. Um, to be honest, all my high neck crop tops are just getting mixed up in my drawer anyway. <laughs> this is it. To be honest, I do actually prefer the fit of the Bershka one. Like, the straps on this are a little bit thinner, but it's still a really nice fit. I got this in a size medium, I think, or a 10. All of these will either be a medium or a 10, depending on where they're from. I'm really out of breath, I just ran upstairs, but... <laughs> So yeah, this is this. I thought it would be nice to have like a kind of different colour one rather than just kind of the classic white, grey, black and nude. Um, so I went for the bright green. I do really like it. It kind of needs to be paired with some quite like neutral colours obviously because it is quite a statement piece. But overall I do really like it. The only thing is the thin straps. I would like a thicker strap. Yeah, other than that, this is what it looks like from the back. And there we go. So next up are these joggers. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to try and adjust the camera. Is that straight? I hope it's straight. So these are the joggers, they're from Pretty Little Thing. How do I, how do, I do this? Right, I'm just gonna like... Here we go. So these are the £12 ones. There are £20 version, which are like thicker, but I find that they give me like a kind of nappy looking thing at the front. These are the £12 ones, they're really thick. I don't know how many times I can say that they're the £12 ones. They're not like fluffy on the inside at all, which to be honest, normally I would be like, no, but it's coming up to summer, so I don't mind a thinner pair. And also they kind of are a little bit more flattering when they're thinner. This is what they look like. Um, I actually dropped a pot of Bernays sauce all down this leg the other day. I got it out of Fairy Liquid, so a quick tip for you. I've paired this outfit with these. They're just from Trainers and Pretty and they're in my last haul. This is like a really cute little outfit. You can just pop it with a little jacket. I do have a couple of jackets, but I don't know if either of them will go. Let me have a look. So this, the next thing is this jacket from Pretty Little Thing. I'm popping it with this outfit. I don't know if it's going to go, but it's basically, comes in like this fluffy, I thought this material, right, would be like a kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I've got another jacket over there, which is similar, um, but it's just a different material. I thought this one would be the same, but it's not. I'm not, I don't hate it, but it's not as nice as the other one. The only thing is I know that it's going to look cheap really quickly and it's going to kind of bobble. But the whole point of these, like you wear them like this. And I just think this is such a cute outfit, like, so like, it's kind of casual then you could wear it like shopping or something and you wouldn't look like a complete tramp especially if you do your hair and makeup nicely and everything and obviously if this was like a different color then i could wear a different color jacket but i thought i'd just put the white one with it because it's kind of the most like balances out the kind of neutral tones and then puts in a more pop of color next out on the list this is all from pretty little thing so the first thing is obviously another high neck crop top we ain't seen them going anywhere this summer and then this pair of like they're not cycling shorts they're called hot pants i wouldn't say they're like extremely short okay can we just appreciate it? i bought these like three weeks ago maybe and they've got a hole two holes along the seam at the back like right where the label is i haven't even cut the label out or anything so it's not my fault but what can you do i'm still gonna wear them anyway not gonna lie they come in like a two pack so there's the gray and the black ones and then i've paired with it this kind of like i don't know it's kind of like grayish green I would say. I mean, I would say it was grey, and then I put it next to the grey bottoms, and it just doesn't look grey. And then obviously you'd need to pair it with something else because it's very simple, but obviously you wouldn't want to accessorise and everything. It does look a lot better. Okay, so I bought this this black denim jacket from Pretty Little Thing the other day, and maybe this, this could be cute, like off the shoulder. And then with like um, a little bag, like across the body bag. Uh, what, what pair of shoes? Oh, look at these. There is just nothing nicer in the world than a fresh pair of Air Force. I'm thinking... The perfect, the perfect shoe combination would be these. The only thing about this jacket is that it has like, 
a fur collar and I feel like it's kind of wintry but that's why I was trying to kind of like in the summer I feel like I wear it more like this because you, then you can't see the fur collar and it's kind of like a more summery vibe you could wear it with, with like jeans or something this jacket would go with like quite a lot of things well I saw it paired on the Prettiest Little Thing website it was with like this little leopard print slip dress so I'm kind of feeling to get one of them and pair it with that because I think that would look so cute with like a little pair of I'd say boots, but I don't wear boots, so I'll probably just put it with the Air Force because that's like the only shoe that I wear. Do you know what I do love with these shorts though? This white hoodie, which I'm, is dirty. I just wanted to put it in the hall because I have like, bought it a couple of weeks ago. Can't take it off. Like, does anyone have like a, some sort of secret of how to put a jumper on without ruining your whole face? Literally, so cute. Like, li li so casual, literally nothing special. Once again, with the Air Force. So banging. Oh, I think I have an addiction to buying tops. I need to start buying some more bottom halves. Okay, next pieces of clothing. These tops from Zara. Sorry, when I say I'm obsessed with these tops, like my last three Instagram posts, I've been wearing them, like wearing this top in different colours. So I've got the light blue, which is my favourite one, I think. These are £5 each, by the way. Insane. Light blue, purple, and then I've also got a white, but that's in the wash. They're literally so flattering. Like, I most of the time need to wear a bra, and yet with this, like, I feel like it kind of does just support my boobs. It's got, like, these straps, which... Well, some of my friends have got these as well and say they're a bit long, but they're elastic, so I feel like if you wear it, like, kind of low enough, it should be alright. And then to go over the top of, like, an outfit like this, which I've been loving at the moment, is this little jacket. I actually hate the word jacket, like, it just makes me feel weird to say. When I tell you I have lived in this for the last, like, month or so, I really have. On, like, the second day I got it, I spilled, like, tomato sauce down, like, on the, right on the white, on the inside, like, right where it sits, and I was like, are you joking? But I came home and got it out. But this is what it looks like. I would probably accessorise a little bit more here, wear a nice bag, because it is a very simple outfit. Obviously, you've got the pattern of the jacket here, but the rest of the outfit is very simple, so that's why I feel like this kind of spices it up a bit. Once again, with the Air Force. So this item is actually a bikini top, and I haven't really bought any bikinis this year, obviously, because I'm not going to be going on holiday. But this one, I looked for it, and I was like, that kind of looks, like, nice. Pretty little thing, bikinis have never done bits for me. Like, I don't know, there's something about them, they just don't work with me, like, with my body. But this, I love. It's really supportive. It feels good quality. It doesn't, like, sag in any areas. Like, it's tight all the way around, even though it's not adjustable. And, yeah, I think it's really nice. Like, you could even wear it as, like, a little bralette or something with a nice pair of jeans and a jacket. Honestly, how can you go wrong? I got this in, like, a 40% off thing as well. It's, like, 40% off hot list. Um, so it was £6 down from 10 which I think is really good for a nice little bikini top. I need to not get makeup on this. I don't know if I'm sending it back. Okay. This is my last item of the day. I don't like it. This one I haven't actually properly tried on yet. Okay. Oh, that's horrific. Get that off me. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to send this back. Like, it's just not... <laughs> it's just not busy enough. Like, I feel like it looks like I'm going, like, scuba diving or something. And also, I think I've lost a little bit of weight, so I feel like it's a little bit too baggy. Like, I'd want it to be more skin tight. The bottom is also meant to, like, flare out onto the top of the shoes and also i swear to god the bottom had like a slit in the flare before but clearly it doesn't anymore i like the bottom half but not the top so that was everything in today's haul i really hope you enjoyed watching like just kind of seeing what the updated things that i've got obviously everything i got was like quite simple nothing too interesting or like anything like that but i kind of decided that i need to stop buying things it's for nights out because I'm not going to be going any nights out anytime soon. So I thought kind of go into the more casual route, like the more everyday, like basics that I can wear. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification so you get a notification from me every week. I'm going to try and get this uploaded today, which is a Wednesday. But I normally upload videos every Sunday. And then obviously if I like can on a Wednesday, um, it's like a little bonus video. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye.